All right, guys, welcome back. Let's head through this uh, hedge mage. I keep calling it a hedge mage. I mean, a hedge maze. Let's head through this hedge maze. This is gonna be fucking. All right, we're gonna go right or left. I'm right handed, so I'm gonna go right. So we go left. Dead end. Okay, so right was the right way. batteries I'm sure left is the right way now I'm searching every nook and cranny Viking paraphernalia that littered the area surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Apparently, I didn't read this one. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Let's say, don't trust a mill. Oh no, right was the right way again. Hundred caps in the asses, bro. That's what I did. There's gonna be another one. They're always in pairs. There he is. That's why we search every nook and cranny. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. 
The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Well, he... When he decided to do that, it costed... It costed him every... It, it costed... When he decided to do that, it cost him everything. Because they gave me time to come up with a plan. At least we got out of the hedge maze. Said it correctly that time. Ooh, flare. Flare gun, I mean. Fuck, I did. I wasted my fucking flare gun. Oh my god. I forgot when you pick it up, it keeps whatever weapon you had equipped. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot when you pick it up, um, whatever weapon you picked up becomes equipped. My mistake. smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Oh, 
Oh, berries, okay. Would have been perfect time for a flare gun. I heard something behind me for a second there. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Barry's clearly in trouble. I hope we get to him before that happens. Oh, a can. Oh, almost fucking used a shotgun round on that shit. to say meal made Tom do it Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. 
Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Ah, oh, shit, here we go. Hurry up, Barry. Come on, come on. It. That was fucking close. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Al how can you know that I know Barry I can Al I know listen I can bring her back I can find her there's something special about this place the lake it it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Of course. Of course. Some shit happens. Bro, he was just yelling out to you. You could have. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't oh, worry, the cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? 
I hit some bushes, he didn't get a scratch. There's no way he can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. And my question is, how the fuck did we fall out and land here and the truck landed out over there with Barry? Video game crash logic logic. All right, um, it's, I was just making sure I didn't miss anything like a manuscript or something. disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Ah, <sighs> bro, we better fucking hurry, dude. Barry's about to get himself killed. Was that about? I saw a thermos up there. Dude, you gotta be fucking busting my balls. Yeah. Yeah.
stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Destroy them to get through. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. I hoped there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Since the movement in the woods ahead, facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Damn, they gave me a regular ass flashlight again. No heavy flashlight, heavy duty flashlight. But at least we have a flashlight now, so this is a good spot to end it. So I will see you guys in the next part.